Well, someone got shot. Ooh. Hello, hello. Hey, you guys, it's MJ. Welcome back to Pet Adventures again. Um, so, a side note here. Uh, if you can't really handle people who alternate uh, alternate their styles quite a bit and you have a high frequency uh, non-tolerance to different types of colors and styles changing weekly drastically um, you don't want to watch my videos yeah stop watching my videos like just stop watching them man because I do this crap every single week just about you know sometimes I'm sexy and sassy sometimes I'm casual keeping it with the natural look that the God that God gave me not the guy what am I talking about and um, yeah I change my styles really really often every single week and none of them are even slightly similar to each other so yeah don't watch my videos just being honest with you here. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna quickly cover a topic that um, a lot of people had asked me when I used to work at the pet shop. It's a very common question for most people. Most people think that this is true. It's basically a myth, I guess. I don't even know how it happened. I guess somebody got really, really cheap and I'm not sure how it happened or why it happened. Maybe it started with some pet stores. Uh, I really don't know, but today I want to cover the topic on um, can goldfish, or any fish for that matter, live in bowls? Short answer, no, but let me elaborate on that. So basically, this has been around for ages. Uh, the fish keeping hobby has been around for a lot longer than reptiles and rodents, small animals. Um, you know, the, the fish keeping hobby has just been a thing that's ongoing for a long time. And of course we have progressed throughout the years, but most people think that it's okay to put a goldfish in a bowl. Um, I do blame also like some movies here and there. I'm not gonna point out any special movies or anything. They don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> but a lot of movies have always promoted um, goldfish and a lot of other types of fish being in bowls. Um, and so, what I want to do is I'm just going to talk about a little bit, uh, probably this is going to be a short video, but I just want to talk about why you can't put a goldfish in a bowl, or basically any fish for that matter. First of all, the number one thing I would say is no fish is going to be happy in a tiny little bowl, okay? Um, just picture you being in a big mansion, okay? You're probably, you know, you're, you're going to like being in a mansion, you know? And then you a very 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 tiny room that you can't escape from and that's all you live in that's basically what a goldfish or, or most fish would feel like um, when you put them in a tank versus a bowl or if they some fish are kind of in lakes like not not actual goldfish are in the wild but it's basically um, like their ancestors down the line that were related to them. Basically, they lived in lakes and things like that. And if you picture them living in lakes and then, you know, like basically they're made to live in lakes and things like that. And then they have to live in a bowl. That just kind of sucks. Overall, what I'm really trying to say is no one, no creature on earth is going to like to be in a living space this small. Now let me point out that if you do not have the time, the money, and the space uh, to get a nice large tank or a tank that's at least somewhat suitable for any fish, just don't invest in fish. I know this is a very weird way of putting it, but most people who would come to the store and ask for fish, and obviously they didn't want to pay for anything that I recommended, um, I would honestly just tell them, just please try to get past any fear you may have and get something easy like a reptile. Um, leopard geckos are super, super simple. I have two of mine in 10 gallons. You can put them in 10 gallons or bigger. And 
It's the simplest thing I've ever had. It really is the simplest pet I have, my leopard geckos. And I know some people are just like, what? You know, why are you like, I just try to point out animals that I know can live long, that aren't a huge a commitment really. Um, you know, you don't, you don't have to be 100% committed to them 24 seven, you know? And fish you do. Um, the aquatics hobby for a lot of fish can take up a lot of your time and your money and you know, I mean, it's worth it if you love the hobby, but you need to be able to will, you need to be willing to, you know, dedicate some parts of your life to fish, especially goldfish who produce a lot of waste. Um, they're basically water piggies, <laughs> so they love to eat. So that is one thing that I want to elaborate is that it's just way too small for anything to live in. A second reason that I would say you don't want to be putting any goldfish in the bowl is um, the fact that they produce a lot of waste. Now, assuming you can't really get a filter, and assuming you probably don't have a bubbler in there, you're gonna have to be changing that bowl, if you decide to get that bowl, every single day. Every single day, you will have to change that water. You cannot miss a day, because goldfish produce a lot of waste, and assuming that you got him a bowl, your goldfish, that's also assuming that you're probably going to overfeed a lot of owners that have goldfish and other fish overfeed the heck out of their fish. And if you just have a tiny little bowl, um, that's going to be really, really bad. The nitrates and everything are going to be just going on up in that little bowl. Not good. Now the third reason, which kind of ties into I guess my second reason, is you can't really get a filter for a bowl. So what a filter does is it filters out the water and if you don't have a filter often your your uh, water will get pretty cloudy pretty fast because like I said goldfish produce a whole lot of waste you know so you know I just they, they're gonna be producing a lot of waste and if you don't have a filter there's no way your water is gonna be able to be clean if you miss one day like I said that water is not gonna be clean and even a bubbler cannot take care of any kind of fogginess and build up in your, um, in your bowl. And also, a bubbler just creates a little bit of extra oxygen and that's basically it. You really need to be filtering out your water. And a fourth reason that I have is it is completely and totally lazy and animal cruelty. Now, I know that might be a little harsh for people who have, you might have your goldfish in a bowl right now, and you might get mad at me for saying that. Just keep in mind, I'm not trying to offend anyone. If you do have a goldfish in a bowl, if you're a subscriber of mine and you love my channel, and I looked at your channel and saw that your goldfish was in a bowl, I wouldn't even bother commenting and saying mean things to you because that's not right. We don't want to be doing that. We don't want to be, you know, getting really, really mad because you, the odds are, you probably didn't even know this, you know? You probably were very unaware of it. So I'm not gonna go harshing down your mellow on anything like that because, um, because it's just not right. If you are watching this video now, you now know that putting a goldfish in a bowl is just gonna do harm to your fish. And honestly, the only reason why you should know this is not so I can be mean to you, not so anyone else can be mean to you. The only reason you should know this is so that you can keep your fish happy and healthy. And if you can't afford a tank or anything like that, try to find somebody who can take the goldfish for you that has a nice large tank that they can put them in. Now, those are basically all my reasons why you shouldn't have a bowl. It's all around just not a good idea, but I am going to give you guys a quick little uh, view of what a goldfish tank should look like. Oh, and one other reason, I'm so, so sorry, I can't believe I almost forgot. One other reason, I guess my fifth reason would be goldfish get quite large. We have our largest fish, Pearl. She is a com uh, just a regular comet. She turned white. She was originally orange when we got her, or gold, whatever. Um, she's a big white fish, and she's like, honestly bigger than my hand right now. You, like, you see my hand? This is like maybe her head and her tail is like all the way down here or something. She's really, really large and she is just like a, a huge fish. So the odds are if you have a bowl, there is no way that your goldfish, when he gets, when he or she gets max size, um, and that's not even max size, Pearl is still growing. So, <laughs> um, your goldfish is not going to be able to be in a bowl. It'll little, literally be like all squinched, squished. It'll be like this. 
you'll try to swim it'll be like that that's what it's going to look like in a, in a bowl at that size So getting onto it without me having my ADD. By the way, I do have ADD. That explains a lot. Yeah. A goldfish tank, in my opinion, at minimum, is a 40 gallon breeder. We have a 40 gallon breeder here. We actually have two in the back. There's one that you see already in the back, and then there's one above us um, that, well, you know, like one above the other 40 that you see. Um, one has a light and one doesn't, so we're working on getting that light. But you basically have to get a 40 breeder with a nice big light attached to it, um, a hang on back filter, I recommend AquaClear, that's what we use. Also we use the Phoenix Planted uh, light, this is the little remote to it and it has different cool little features. Um, but we have that and it's a magnificent tank and you can basically put a couple of goldfish in here just make sure that you change the water on a weekly basis once a week at least um, basically do a full water change and um, you should be good to go but this is really really great we just keep it bare bottom we don't have it really fancy or anything the plants are really hard for us to keep because the goldfish nip at them there are ways to have a planted tank of course with goldfish but it's really hard for us so we're struggling but we're getting there we getting there we getting there. We getting there. So there you guys have it. Why you can't keep a goldfish and basically any fish really in a bowl. Um, a lot of it goes the same way. Yes, you can sort of kind of get a bed of fish in a bowl, but still I recommend bubblers and filters always. So it's best to just get something bigger than a bowl. And like I said, it's just not a lot of space for any fish. Um, and I do consider it animal cruelty. And again, if you don't didn't know anything about this, I'm not calling you like an, an you know someone who supports animal cruelty. And I'm not saying that you're purposely abusing your fish or anything like that. You know, I'm not saying that. Um, you probably just didn't know, and it's not even your fault. It's just the media, you know, the the commercials, the movies, like things that basically show goldfish in bowls. You know, the pet stores they. They always have bowls and stuff like that, and a lot of associates will tell you it's okay because they don't know any better themselves. So it's no one's fault except for like main, main higher ups that sell it. But, um, you know, if you watch this video today, like I said, just get your goldfish um, in a tank as soon as you can, and if you really can't afford it, give it to somebody that you can find nearby that you know keeps bigger tanks and probably has a bigger tank. Uh, able to have like a goldfish in it and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you love pets, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.